Welcome to Atherton On Air. I'm Maddie Van Amberg. And I'm Devin Seabree. And here's what's trending. The academies range from media to health, but what about engineering? We took a look at the new robotics class by the engineering pathway to see what kind of building and coding they're up to. Um, so each table is making a different robot right now. Um, my table's making a rev robot, um, and it's basically just made to pick things up but um, we actually just got done like building with the hardware. Now we are like coding and we have to take a phone and a controller and like connect it to the robot and code in Java. We have several different types of robots and different robotic platforms. So I have different teams working on different types of projects. Um, we're just kind of uh, starting with some hands-on assembly and trying to figure out wiring on some of them. Uh, but uh, the fun part is kind of piecing them together and putting them together. To those who are at Atherton last year, you may remember that study skills was removed as a class. How will this affect students with jobs, extracurriculars, and busy home lives? Let's see how students are reacting to the missing work period. So my thoughts about study skills um, being gone are pretty positive. Um, I think overall the majority of students that were in study skills weren't really using that as an intentional space to get caught up with homework or do their work. For example, we often got a lot of kids wanting to come to the library from study skills because their classrooms were too loud, it wasn't structured enough, it wasn't conducive to actually working on their homework or other instructional needs. Uh, I feel like whenever you get study skills, you can like do your homework for the day, for the week, and then you don't really got to worry about doing it at home because people have a whole lot of homework and feel me? Yeah. It's not really affecting me. I never took a study skills class my entire time being here. Um, honestly, I don't really care. It was just kind of a filler class for most people, so like, it doesn't really affect me. I think it would be a great idea to bring it back uh, as long as students were involved with that decision. And I think students and teachers maybe would need to talk to, talk to each other as a group about what that structure would look like, how we could um, hold study skills or those sorts of classes to um, help either with tutoring, perhaps, teachers actually tutoring in those study skills rooms, or just giving a space where, especially kids I know with that have IB or overloaded with classes, need a time or a break during the day. And girls volleyball is starting, and we interviewed the players and coach about how they are preparing and expecting for their new season to go. Our girls volleyball team has been working very hard this season. With over half the season remaining, these girls are pushing themselves and each other to be the best they can be. They are putting in the work at practices and improving every day. With 7 games down and 12 left to go, these girls are always preparing. Here's junior Ella Cochran with her thoughts on the season. I'm excited for the season. I think so far we're doing pretty good, especially considering we're three players down. You know, it's difficult for any team. but. I think we're handling it pretty well. My goal, just win some games, have some fun, you know? The teams are excited for the season ahead of them. With their coaches helping them reach their full potential, they are ready to take on any team that comes their way. On and off the court, these girls are having fun and making the most of the season. There's a fresh but familiar face returning to help coach this season. Atherton alumni Jenna McCauley has come back to coach the freshman team this year. I graduated from Atherton in 2019. I played varsity all four years, and I am this year's freshman head coach with assistant to JV and varsity. I'm very excited to be coaching this group of girls. I think there's a lot of talent, a lot of raw talent that needs to be hit on and everything like that, and I feel like I can get these girls ready for the next level. We're gonna have a great season this year. For $40, seniors bought parking spots with added bonuses. Not only are they closest to the school, but the spots are paintable. We talked to some seniors on their painted spots. Students being able to paint their parking spots is an awesome sense of ownership that they can take on for their school, for pride, a way to individualize themselves. I've heard that we have some out there that are uh, like dead bodies or Fortnite. Uh, I remember being a young man myself at my high school way back when, and we were able to do that as well. And really just uh, fosters a sense of community and again, ownership. So I think it's really neat that not only do they make it available, but that you guys take them up on it and are so expressive out there. It's very cool. I painted uh, Let That Sink In on my parking spot because, uh, I don't know, I just thought it was kind of funny. I'm painting a door with a sink coming through it with, uh, you know, for the, some people who don't get it, I'm putting uh, Let That and then Sink In on the bottom. And don't forget about the Blackout Home Football Game this Friday. 
That's all for today. For After 10 On Air, I'm Devin Seabury. And I'm Maddie Van Amberg. Keep, Keep on, on raging, raving. Ravens.